The White House said Sunday it is not seeking a wider conflict in the Middle East after U.S. helicopters sank three Houthi boats in the Red Sea after coming under fire. The helicopters sank the boats and killed those aboard. Marking the first time since tensions broke out earlier this year that the U.S. has killed members of the Iranian-backed Houthi rebel group, which has been targeting commercial and merchant vessels in the Red Sea. The U.S. has avoided directly striking the group inside Yemen as it seeks to avoid escalating the crisis further. But a National Security Council spokesman said Sunday that the U.S. would continue acting in self-defense. We don't seek a conflict wider in the region and we are not looking for a conflict with the Houthis. The best outcome here would be for the Houthis to stop these attacks, as we have made clear over and over again. John Kirby said on ABC News. For small boats originating from Houthi-control areas of Yemen attacked the mass Hangzhou on Saturday with small arms and attempted to board the merchant vessel. According to a statement from U.S. Central Command, which added that a security team on board had returned fire. The U.S. Navy helicopters returned fire in self-defense, sinking three of the four small boats and killing the crews. The fourth boat fled the area, the statement said, adding that there was no damage to U.S. personnel or equipment. CNN has reached out to Mask for comment on the incident. The Houthis have launched dozens of attacks on commercial vessels since October 7, saying they are acting in solidarity with Hamas amid the group's war with Israel. The U.S. has deployed warships to the Red Sea and last month launched Operation Prosperity Guardian, a multinational maritime coalition to beef up security in the critical global shipping lane. While President Joe Biden has authorized strikes on other Iranian proxy groups that have attacked American troops in Iraq and Syria, he has stopped short of striking the Houthis in Yemen. We've got significant national security interests in the region just on our own, and we're going to put the kind of forces we need in the region to protect those interests and we're going to act in self-defense going forward. Kirby said. Asked about the prospect of a preemptive strike in the region, Kirby reiterated the White House stance. We are not ruling anything in or out, but we have made it clear publicly, to the Houthis and privately, to our allies and partners, in the region we take these threats seriously. And we are going to make the right decisions, going forward, he said.